Welcome to Nouveau Heroes turn 64. The search and alteration is complete. We now have uh, alteration 9. Next is enchantment 9. I don't really have big research goals anymore, but I'm getting a research point anyway, so why not? Um, casting a mind hunt and the commander resisted. Let's see how the other mind hunt did. Also resisted. So yeah, Atlanteans quite resistant to mind hunt. Sean has got Vineman. Uh, I think this is with the item, so you get Vineman for free. Uh, Call of the Wild is also for free. Uh, Plague Storm has cost Lichcraft, so now we got bigger death axes. Um, Oflagion has cast Awakened Vine Ogres. Uh, we summon another Bisnum Fish, more Vine Ogres. And the infiltration of Atlantis was successful, so we're gonna have a look at score graphs. Uh, there was a battle in Boar Woods. Uh, this is Atlantis coming on land. So he has a double line of all these size 3 coral armored dudes, backed up by a single basalt queen uh, who's protected by a few shamblers. And is this guy? No, this is just Nick Tiff Warrior. So, one priest to back all of this up. On my end, we got these blocks, we got a communion. Casting Fog Warriors, Mass re uh, Regeneration. Some more minor buffs. However, some of the Atlanteans do have magic weapons which negates the Fog Warriors, so let's see how this goes. Alright. So we lose a few heavy footmen and kill another 95 Atlanteans. These are losses that we can take and Atlantis cannot, so good turn of events for me. Um, there's the battle in Zeneca, we attack the remains of Sarmatia. With amongst other things a headdress of the bull, because why not? So this chariot commander has been enlarged, made ethereal, he, he is the luxury package. And while people are fighting it out in the middle, he drives into the rear. These fire elementals are actually pretty good, especially because I cast some moss body on my guys. Um, However, without any commanders, oh, Mr. Chariot decides to flee. Okay, didn't expect that. Okay, so Sarmatia lives to fight another day. Um, we have a battle in Emerald Lake where Atlantis counter raids us. And we don't have a commander, so that didn't do much. Uh, battle is Sea of Woe. Also a counter raid. And then there's uh, we attack Sarmatia and Ancient Woods. And with the backing of skeletons, my guys actually stand up ground, so that does it. 
uh, we have taken control of Triton C, met no resistance. Uh, unexpected event in Strongdale. Uh, a few gems have been found in the split trunk of an oak, one nature gem. Uh, event in Silvermark. A local slave lord is seeking absolution for his sins. He has donated all his virgins and a chest of gold to your cause. So 70 blood slaves and 155 gold. This one's so funny, like, what does he think his sins are? Anyway. Um, and the entrance of the fortification in Silverham has been breached, so this is Sarmatia's last fort. I'm storming it. I'm also doing another attack on this province, this time with the, um, with the White Magi. I am... Um, um, let's see, I'm doing two mine hunts on this place. Hopefully lock this force down, kill them. However, yeah, as we now know, uh, no, not that. Yeah, they have a, ma a natural magic resistance of 17, so that might be a bit optimistic, but if it works, we catch some forces, and that'd be great. Um, over here in 128, I've got this Kraken, Cracky. And he's going to cast Iron Skin, Quicken Self, Personal Regeneration. And uh, this guy's going to give him, uh, or give, give the Chariot Quickness, and do some Body Material on both. And uh, so, yeah, uh, this, this group, Cracky and friends, are going to attack Sacred Lake. Uh, so, but a, a bit of a more heavy uh, raid party. Then here, uh, yep. And also, no, not here. Here, yeah, I'm, I'm just sending new chariots here out again. Uh, basically just keeping the pressure up. And then the whole coast I'm just patrolling with some, some magi and some troops just in case he tries to go on land again. Um, casting Gift of Health. So that all these uh, these major that have gotten wounded over the over a long time uh, can get healed and do something useful again, including this guy who, uh, due to his transformation, he becomes feeble-minded. But he is an amphibian, so if we manage to heal him, he can be useful. Um, summoning some more vine ogres and some vine men. Uh, I've started to do it here instead, so what I did is I moved uh, moved a different bunch of these animists over. And then when they got here, I gave the items from guys here to the guys here. And now I am casting some Vine Ogres. And also Vine Men, I think. Or is that still happening elsewhere? Uh, it might be elsewhere, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, this guy. He has the Crown of the Ivy King, so he can summon the Vine Men for free. And he's Ivy Lord 3, so you get 3 extra Vine Men. Uh, generally you want to use Ivy Lord to get extra Vine Ogres, but in this case, yeah, not bad. Um, I'm forging a Ghost Orb. Uh, Boots of the Messenger, Frostbrand, Sea King's Goblet to move more troops on the water, uh, Assembler Skin ar Armor, first of all the Pocket Knight, a Water Lens, and another dra Dwarven Hammer. Alright, that's it for turn 64. See you in turn 65. Welcome to Noob Valeo's turn 65. Uh, Lord C has cost uh, Twiceborn. Another guy also got a lot of sea has cost uh, called the wild. So many more vine ogres. Disappoint tried to do a mind hunt but failed. Hokushin tried to do a mind hunt but also failed. Mediocre um, found a search for magic science and found nothing, as is our proud tradition in Team Chi. Uh, the infiltration of Atlantis was successful. Uh, there was been a battle in Sarmatia. Let's have a look at that one. So, 
Apparently, Sarmesha hired some teachy looking mercenaries. And puts his old capital back on the siege. And there's a battle in Bog of World. Here we have this high Magus with the headers of the bull. And just attack province. And then we get attack the Triton Sea by Atlantis. Here he has made a nice blob of well whatever. And to summon some sea trolls, which indicate that we must have a sea king somewhere. And he's going up against a chariot in the base of the province defense. Alright, um we have taken control of Sea of Well, our forces met no resistance again. Um, then there was a battle in the storms. And the commander gets killed. Unfortunate, but it can happen sometimes. Uh, then there's a battle in the lake. Uh, this is a main army putting this place under siege. The um, Hinnom, I think, is retaking of uh, Grey Mountains from a bunch of independents. Yeah, so he makes this army of beast hunters, which are definitely good independents. But in my opinion, they need a bit of a magical buff because their protection is 6. However, against this garbage, We attack uh, Atlantis in the Second Lake. No, oh, this is correct, in France. So, with Kraki being the anvil and this guy being the hammer, uh, they took on quite a bit of province defense there. And let's see, that was in Sacred Lake. Then we have some more battles with Sarmatia here in Zemeca. This is the counter raid party again. Then in the Fortress of Silverham, I think this is Sarmesia's last fort. Yeah, so main army. Bunch of Magi remaining. But as you can see, Flaming Arrows is always the bane of Skellis spam. Expect events occurred in Tiny Willow. 
A prospector genius has found a small gold, uh, gold deposit. What's well, small? 560 for gold. Not bad. Unexpected events received low. Uh, a handful of gems have been found in a hot valley. Underwater. Uh, I don't think there was a valley. Anyway. Uh, for fire gems. We're on the siege in Sarmatia and our walls are damaged. We'll deal with that momentarily. And the entrance and the fortification of Lucky Lake has been breached. One well, unit was killed from the disease. The fishermen have been bought and will fight for a cause. And Fishmaster Sock has been bought. So I decided to get some other water mercenaries. Cracky and friends are gonna raid on. Um, let's see. Under 25 is here. Yeah, so I'm setting up a defense here with the mercenaries. I'm setting up a defense here. So wherever this army decides to go, uh, they will run into something. We're reinforcing with some magi and this. Uh, yeah, so if they run into this, they're dead. If they run into this, they're probably dead as well. So yeah, should be good. Um, I've also made Eeyore the troll. With this set of gear, he should be pretty good at raiding the underwater. Um, attacking 86 with the main army. Uh, just neglecting the fact that I just breached the wall, just moving on. Um, also, so that the big army can't catch this army because they might win. Um, I'm doing more uh, suiciding now with Lao C, so he can become a white and he can also operate, operate underwater. I am casting two mind hunts on this place. I'm casting Dark Skies in Team Chi. This will reduce the morale in of any enemy that walks into my dominion. So it will hopefully be a lot harder to fight me. If anyone decides to come in. I'm summoning a king of elemental fire. Um, I'm making a, cru a crucible of stone, a bell of cleansing, three water lenses and a ring of water breeding. So basically to do more of what I'm already doing and uh, to branch out a little bit. Alright, that's it for turn 65. See you in turn 66. Welcome to Noob Varios turn 66. Uh, Winnie the Pooh has cast Dark Skies. This will make it a lot more annoying to try and attack me. Uh, we summon the King of Elemental Fire. Piri Plogos uh, answered the spell. So more fire magic, always good. Uh, some Vine Ogres. Did some arcane probing. And actually found something. Nothing here. Uh, some mind hunting, which actually killed somebody for a change. And uh, the other mind, mind hunt didn't do anything because that was the only commander. Uh, we cast Voice of Tiamat, but didn't find anything. More arcane probing, but found nothing. And Wen Cheng has found a magic science and embracer. A uh, reef of sunken ships. Mm, not sure what kind of side that is. I haven't played that much on the water, but might have a look later. Um, our Atavi chieftain was attacked by three horror mantis. Basically, it's becoming late in the game and more and more horrors are starting to show up. Infiltration of Lanka was successful. Uh, there was a battle in storms. Uh, yeah, this, this is not interesting, but there was a battle in storms. Uh, so this is Eeyore moving out. Earth power, iron skin, legions of steel. Now he has a protection of 29. And he also does moss body.
And then he just very well, quickens himself still. And just kills everybody with his frost plant. Alright, so this is a little bit more sustainable raiding option. Uh, there was a battle in Bog of Wald. But. Uh, yeah, so. Taking, taking out the remains of Saramacia. I've got to kill this high Magus, although if I don't kill him, he'll die by himself. Okay, uh, another battle in Saramacia. Unfortunately, these Celestial Soldiers, which I can summon if I wanted to, are actually pretty good. So that didn't work out. Uh, then we got counter raided in Lucky Lake. Oh yeah, so the army decided to move on and I just left the fine men behind so they can go fight this fine man. Uh, Undefended Province of the Sacred Lake has been conquered. Oh yeah, so I forgot to leave the province defense here. Uh, that was dumb. Oh well, got conquered anyway. Uh, there was a battle in the old coast. Oh yeah, this this guy is just suiciding. Uh, battle in Tears of the Panther Crater. Okay, his Krakian friends are going up against this bunch of province defense. And it works out, however... Uh, yeah, the master of the way managed to get killed, so... That makes this raiding party a lot less powerful. However, it looks like we took out something like 20 province defense or something. So, not bad. Um, then there's a battle in like fastness. This is the main army just maneuvering. Yep, unexpected event in Light Hills. A uh, handful of gems have been found in Hot Valley. Uh, again, for gems. Uh, expected event in Kamiya. Uh, hidden laboratory has been found in Clanty in Name. We got three Astro Pearls, two Death Gems, uh, Nature Gem, five Blood Slaves, and a Ring of Water Breathing, which we can actually use. So. That's pretty alright. We're under siege in Sarmatia. Uh, we've destroyed the walls, uh, we've destroyed the fort in Lake Fastness. So, still putting, uh, putting Atlantis in check. Um, one of our units were cured, we killed some brigands. And Telamonian, the god of Faramacia, has been permanently vanished, so we're done with that. Loud Sea lives on as a white mage. And with this, you get flying white mage. Am uh, I correct in that? No, I'm not. He has wings, but they're not uh, actual functional wings. So in order to make him fly, I'm going to have to give him a pair of flying shoes, if that's what I want. Uh, so the main army is meeting up with Loud Sea in Deep Sea. He's going to be casting uh, Fog Warriors. Which will... Yes, that... So, he's casting Fog Warriors on the third turn. And all of these guys are summoning their Ancestor Ghosts on the first and second turn. So he's going to put Fog Warriors on the Ghosts. And because of my Bless, with plus 2 HP, the Ghosts will have 3 HP and Fog Warriors makes you take 1 damage. So, 
uh, then it will take three swings to kill the ghosts. Which is going to be quite useful. Uh, let's see, 66. Um, so, I'm um, attacking. Uh, no, that's 114. So I'm attacking here with a second underwater army led by this king of the mountains. Um, also attacking in 94. And I'm bringing down an amulet of the fish. Uh, so this bishop fish can move because I couldn't move this army here or here because the bishop fish didn't have an amulet. So that's why this is my best move right now. Um, raiding here. And I'm mind hunting here. Um, basically seeing if I might be able to take all this stuff out with my guns instead. Um, summoning my first Raid Lord here. Uh, which is an Immortal, which can then just Raid, and if he dies he just pulls back and can Raid again. Um, Fortune of Dwarven Hammer, uh, Crops Bracers, a Water Lens, a Shambler Skin, two more Water Lenses and two more Shambler Skins. So, yeah, just making more gear, sending more stuff in here, and uh, yeah, at, at some point uh, Atlantis will just fall to the overwhelming amount of nonsense I'm sending at him. Alright, um, I promise to have a look at the score graph, so let's do that. So, army size. I am, I think this is Hinnom, yeah, I'm like, Hinnom is about two thirds of my army size, and these are size points, so a human is size 2 and a giant might be size 5, and then the giant gives you 5 points here. So it's not just numbers of troops. Uh, provinces, Hinnom's ahead of me, but he has been losing some of them to Lanka. Forts, I am very strongly in the lead. Income, that's me. Gem income, also me. Research, I am... I've got about twice the research points Hinnom has, which actually means that he's only one tech level behind on most things because the amount of research points for a tech level doubles every time. Dominion uh, is mostly Hinnom and Atlantis, but I'm climbing up slowly. Army size we already did, and Ascension points is mostly Hinnom, which makes him look the most scary to everybody, which is good. Because if I'm going to win this game, I want people to find out how powerful I am as late as possible. Alright, that's it for turn 66. See you in turn 67.